These daily guided meditations for transcendence are brought to you for free. If you enjoy them and would like to support the channel, you can hop on www.buymeacoffee.com slash rath, R-A-P-H, and buy me a coffee or join one of our memberships to enjoy some exclusive perks such as private posts, videos, and podcasts. That's buymeacoffee.com slash rath, R-A-P-H. Thank you so much for your generosity and support. Hello dear friends, dear meditators, welcome back to yet another guided meditation. Today is day three of our 100 days meditation challenge. Thank you so much for being here. I know that there are always more people on day one than on day three and on day 100, of course. And so don't be a hero of one day. Commit to this practice. Consistency is key to reap the benefits from mindfulness practices and meditation also. So this is also why we create these challenges. And to celebrate you, to say thank you for joining me on this challenge, I would like to offer you a 50% discount on the upcoming course, Meditation, uh, Transcendence in Meditation, a superpower for the mind, body and soul, where we will dig deep into theory, into different kinds of practices, into philosophy, into the effects of different types of practices. It's a very intensive course. Um, it will be dripped. That means you'll have one lesson per week because it's quite intense. There's a lot, a lot of information in there, hours of videos. It will come out officially on October 4th, but before then you get this 50% discount and also you get the possibility to win a free one-on-one -on -one coaching with myself, one hour on Zoom. So let's get started, making sure you won't be disturbed during the entirety of this meditation. It will last approximately 20, 25 minutes. And if you've meditated with me before and you have meditated until the end of these videos, you know that at the end I give you a little quote or a little journaling prompt, a thought, an emotion to reflect on. Once we've created this space, this stillness, it is the perfect time to reflect on life's big questions. And so this is what we do. Make sure you won't be disturbed then. Turn off your phone put it on flight mode, tell your spouse, your roommates, your cat, maybe, if he tends to knock on the door, that you should not be disturbed during the entirety of the meditation session. You can sit wherever it feels comfortable, on a chair, on the edge of your bed, on a yoga block, as long as you're able to be nice and straight, not too straight, you don't want to introduce any tensions in your body, but nice and tall, taking space vertically, horizontally, imagining a string pulling you up from the top of your head, chin in, chest out, shoulders down. And we begin today's meditation by dedicating it to someone. It can be anybody that you want, somebody that you know, somebody that you don't know, somebody that you love, somebody that you're having challenges with, or even to yourself if this is what you need today. You can let me know in the comments below who you're dedicating it to, and I'll reply. The way we do this is quite simple. We close our eyes. We put our hands to our heart, either in a praying position or palms of the hand to the chest, whatever feels more natural. We take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And on the exhalation, ah, we project our love, gratitude, and appreciation towards that person. And you can also visualize that person receiving your love, receiving your energy on their end. In a few moments, you will be introduced to a sound, a vibration. You will put your focus and attention on that vibration. And you will follow that vibration during the entirety of this meditation session. You'll do this as gently, softly and effortlessly as possible, keeping the sound on the foreground of your mind. When thoughts come... Don't engage your ego, don't engage your judgments. This is perfectly normal, it is perfectly natural, it is part of the process of meditation. So don't judge your meditation session, don't judge yourself, your ability to meditate, and don't judge the thoughts. Don't try to categorize the thoughts, and certainly don't try to eliminate the thoughts. When you catch yourself thinking, go back to the sound as gently, as softly, as effortlessly as possible, putting the sound back 
on the center stage of your inner personal space. When the sound fades out, let it resonate in your own mind for a few extra moments, keeping it alive, reproducing it in your mind.
Okay, now let's go of the vibration. The meditation session is over. Get reacquainted to the sensations in your body. And start moving gently your fingers and your toes. Take a nice deep breath in. And on that exhalation, gently open your eyes. Stay there. Stay still, stay calm, stay seated. I highly recommend that you take the time, at least four or five minutes, to get reacquainted to the space that you're in. Noticing what's around you, what's new, what's familiar, colors, lights, shadows. And that's it for us today. In terms of meditation, if you would like to stay with me for a few extra moments, then we can reflect on something together. Recently I've been working on my mission statement because you know I'm launching this new website with my meditations, my coaching practice and so it got me thinking a lot about who I am, what I do, what I believe in, why I believe what I believe in what is my uniqueness that I might bring to the world? And so I've been trying to write my mission statement, which is it takes a lot of time. It's quite tricky. I came up with something and I would like you to come up with something of your own. What is your mission statement? What is your purpose? What do you believe in? Why do you believe in what you believe in? What is your uniqueness? What is your unique talent? And when we think about this, think also not only what is our purpose, but also what is our duty? What is our calling? How can we serve the people around us? How can we make the world a better place, even if it's only one person at a time. If you would like, I, I can share a little bit about my mission. And what I what I came up with is that uh, because I believe that everybody can live the best life and that everybody can tap into their full potential. The potential is there within. But it does take time, it does take work, it does take strategy, it takes, it's always good to have a guide, but it's also quite simple, more simple than we think. It's all about getting out of our own way, right? And so my mission statement is as follows. My mission is to guide individuals in living to their full potential so that they can get out of their own way and reach inner peace and infinite joy. This is what I really believe in. This is what's in my heart. And so I would like you to do the same. And if you would like, you can also continue a little bit further in asking yourself, well, how will you apply this mission statement? What will you do? Well, for me, for my mission, it's all about meditation and other mindfulness tools and practices, as well as a deep study of practical, actionable philosophy. So when it comes to self-improvement, we can either become life librarians. I've talked about this extensively before. Uh, life librarians meaning that you continuously gather data, what might be considered sterile data, since you don't do anything with it. Or we can become life warriors by battling our inner dragons and choosing the harder path that will reap the most powerful intrinsic rewards. And that uh, I want to put an emphasis on intrinsic rewards. This is what I like to call applied philosophy. Philosophy is the love of wisdom and applied philosophy is simply the application of the wisdom we gather through study and experimentation to reach our best life, to live with a good soul and simply to be as the best version of ourselves. And then uh, I would like you to reflect. So that's for me to give you an example. And I would like you to do the same for yourself. And then I would like you to really answer what is that purpose? What are you really, really trying to achieve? And I would like you to think about something greater than yourself. For me, of course, it's, I mean, of course, for me, it is uh, thinking about 
uh, you guys, my audience on YouTube. Uh, I'm here to serve you every single day. It is also for my family. I serve them every day. I try to be as present as possible. And I try to become the best father possible. I never had a father. So being a father is something that is very, very important to me. And I'm very delicate in the way that I practice, if you would like, if you, if you will, my fatherhood. And uh, it's it's recent. I've only became a father 15 months ago, 17 months ago. And I know that it might sound kind of corny, but since the moment I saw him open his eyes, little Benjamin, for the first time, I knew that I had a new purpose. And that was to make sure that he is safe, supported and loved. Maybe I lacked that safety, that support and love myself. And I've really committed to bringing him this. It's even more important for me than anything else in the world. And so this is like the practical level. And on a high level, I've been aiming to make the world a better place so that he and his children will be able to live a good life, a healthy life, a life of peace. How can I do that at my scale? Well, teaching, guiding people to live a better life will be by definition uh something that can make the world a better place. I really believe in that. I know that through my training, I, I became a better person. And although it is still and will forever be a work in progress, I'm proud of these intrinsic achievements. If I can help a single person to better him or herself, my mission will be accomplished and already made the world a better place for my son and his friends and his children after. So I'm grateful. I'm very grateful. I'm grateful to the internet. Uh, because thanks to the internet, I've helped dozens of people personally with Zoom sessions and hundreds of thousands of people here on the 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 channels. We have over one million meditation practiced every every year. Uh, we only started two years ago, but it's a lot of meditations. And so this is my calling. This is my purpose. And as I said, it's still a work in progress. And the more progress we make, the more work there is to be done. That's part of what makes life so exciting. So please do reflect on that for yourself. I don't really like talking so much about myself. And I, I, I want this channel to be more about you. I wanted to give you an example of you to define that mission statement for yourself. How you will put this in action how will you put your mission statement in action and uh, reflect on what you're really trying to achieve with your life remember we only have one life remember that today might be the last day remember that today's task this task might be the last task that we ever do memento mori remember death reflect on our mortality that's it for me today i've talked way too much um, but I think this is a very important exercise for you to do. And I think that doing this after meditation is the best time to do it. Thanks for listening. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.